This video shows you how to check conditions in XenoGuard. Like all other programming languages, XenoGuard offers the possibility to conditionally branch using the if action. A conditional expression usually consists of three parts. The left expression item, the expression operation, and the right expression item. Below these are the two action blocks then and else. You can embed different actions in each of the two blocks, but only one of them will be executed. The fastest way to fill the left and right expression items is a drag and drop operation. In principle, all results of a previous action serve as a source, the parameters of a list, any fixed values, identifiers as well as the execution status of an action. As identifiers can be used, variable, parameter, result and enum, whereby the context scope is also distinguished. XenoGuard automatically associates an if action that you add to a script with the preceding action. By default, the condition is set to if the action has failed. This means that if the action fails and the icon turns red, the if action passes through the then branch. You can recognize the link by the red arrow. XenoGuard chooses the operation state. The right item of the expression contains failed. Double-click on one of the three elements to open the selection window. With Escape, you close the selection window. Alternatively, you can press Enter if the cell was previously selected. Check if an action has failed. If you want to check the execution status of an action, add the if directly after the desired operation you want to check. XenoGuard automatically creates a link. In our example, the content of a file is to be read. If the file does not exist, the action fails. We then open a message box. You can also use a different action. Just drag the desired action with the mouse to the left expression item. The red arrow indicates the new link. You can also change the execution status. Double-click the right expression item to change it. Change to passed. In this case, the then branch will pass if the action was error-free. If you move the if action to another position, the link will remain and the arrow will change. Now, when we run the script, the message box opens because the file does not exist. Compare a result parameter with a fixed value. Often you want a branch when a result parameter has a certain value. Insert the if action at the desired location in the script. Then, open the source action node to see the parameters. Click and drag the parameter name to the left or right expression item. XenoGuard adds a link again, this time to the parameter. Alternatively, you can select a cell and copy it with Ctrl C and paste it with Ctrl V at the expression item. You change the operation in the middle with a double click. There are several operations to choose from. Some cannot be combined, but XenoGuard will tell you if an operation is not possible. In our example, we want to check if the user has selected cancel in the dialog box. If you don't know a value, you can try to perform the action beforehand to get the value. Right click on it and select start selection. We select cancel. Now we drag the result to the right expression item. Finally, we add an action to end the script when the user has selected the cancel button. Now we start the script. Compare a script parameter with an enum value. Use the mouse to drag the desired parameter to the left item of the expression. Select the right item and press Enter. Move the cursor to enums and select the enumeration on the right. All enum values will appear. Use the cursor keys to select the desired enum value and then press Enter. Compare two local variables. It is easy to compare any two identifiers. Drag the identifiers to the expression items with the mouse and choose the compare operation. In our case, the variable length must be smaller than the variable length minimum to call the script calculate length.
Compare a global variable with a fixed value. If you want to compare a global variable, it is easier to select the identifier with the selection window. Activate the expression item and press enter. The selection window opens. Use the arrow keys to move the cursor to global variables. A list of all global variables in the workspace appears on the right side. Press the right arrow key and select the desired variable. Confirm the selection by pressing Enter. In our example, we will read the environment primary screen width variable and check if the value is greater than 1600. The next tutorial explains how to create comments in an action script and how to structure a script clearly. Thank you for your interest. I hope the video helped you. If you have any questions about the product, feel free to contact us. We'll be very glad to help you.